Hey, what's up? I'm Chadwick. This is Chadwick Family Films, and this week we are dewinterizing our winterized camper because it's 90 degrees out and we are going to go camping. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. This is the good life. Oh, oh, oh. So, the first thing I'm going to do real quick is put the plug back in to the hot water heater. So, this was a 15 16 size bolt. You might want to put some Teflon tape on there. I don't have any with me right now. So we're going to call it good. So that's going to go in there. Okay. And then we're just going to tighten her down a little bit. All right. That's almost in there. All right. That should be good. That's closed up. So next up, we're gonna put water in the fresh water tank. We need about a third of a tank full. I'm just making sure it's clean coming out of there first. I have this splitter set up here with my regulator and my water filter, just cause I like to keep things clean. And this tool is pretty cool. It's a little extra adapter switch that gives me I guess it just gives me an extra on off. So as I fill the fresh water tank, which is right over here, gives me a way that I can pressurize the hose and turn it off away from where it comes out. Now we're filling, filling her up. Okay, so we have about a third to two thirds full of the fresh water tank. The next thing we'll do is turn the water pump on so I, at, obviously I have the fresh water tank is closed. The hot water tank down there is closed. I'm gonna turn the water pump on, which is right here. I can hear it. It's coming up to pressure. If you did not winterize, when you finished winterizing, if you didn't put your water pump back to the normal position and not the antifreeze siphon mode, you would need to do that right now before otherwise you're not gonna be drawing water from the fresh water tank. So now that we have the pump running, we've got some fresh water in there. All we got to do is just uh, run some water through until the pink goes away. So once we... <laughs> there it goes. So we'll do both sides and we'll do all the areas. So that looks good on there. We'll do the hot side, which is not going through the hot water tank yet. But there we go, we got clean water in there and there. And we go into the bathroom, do the same thing. We're gonna get all this uh, pink out of the system. Switch over to the cold side. Boy, you can smell that stuff. Now, since we're not totally level, it's kind of just collecting down there, which is no fun. But it is what it is. And we'll do the toilet as well. So the toilet will flush out pink. And now we have clear stuff, so. Looks good. Okay, we gotta get the pink stuff out of the outdoor shower. That looks clean. That looks clean. Okay, outdoor shower's done. Okay, so the reason we left the hot water in the bypass mode is we don't want any of that antifreeze rolling through it. Um, now that we have clear water running through our system, we can go ahead and change those valves over and we'll fill up the hot water heater. So right now I'm unscrewing the right side underneath the sink. That's where my hot water bypass is. Right now it's in the bypass mode. So I'm just going to switch the two valves that are in there so that they're facing towards the hot water tank, which will push water into there and the water will not have antifreeze. 
So if you watch the previous video, it kind of shows you the correct uh, way those angle. All right, so this is the cold water side, getting water. Now I'll do the top side valve. Here next. That <laughs> makes it way harder when the slide's not out. I don't recommend this. When you do it, give yourself some room. <laughs> All right, both of those are open and going into the water heater, filling it up. So I'll close this sucker back up and we are almost done. Okay, so the hot water tank is filled up. I'll just run some through the faucet. This is getting all the air out right now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Here it comes. Come on, come on. You know you wanna go. <laughs> it's trying. So I think I still have water in the tank. There it comes, here it comes. All right, no, don't move, don't move on me now. Here we go. Oh yeah. Now we have a nice flow. So you could see that took, what, at least a minute there. But now our hot water tank has water. Cold water is pulling from the tank as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is just dump the gray and the black tanks to get all the antifreeze that's in there out right now and that'll give us some empty tanks to get started on our trip and we'll top off our fresh water and be on our way. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video valuable, give it a like, maybe subscribe, and we will catch you in the video next week. Bye.